It is an honor for me to be here tonight with you at the Cody Celebrates. As you all know, I am from Haiti, the country known as the poorest in the Americas, as the land of contrast where luxury and poverty are side by side. Known for the past 2000 earthquake that killed thousands and left millions homeless, Haiti is also known for to be the first independent nation, the second Republic of the Americas, and the only nation in the Western, Western Hemisphere to have defeated three European superpowers, Britain, France, and Spain. And the only nation in the world established as a result of a successful slave revolt. This country also has a very creative young population eager to learn and work, a country in which all economical sector needs to grow. These were two presentation of my country. Same country, but seen, sent, seen through two different lenses. The second definition would be given by any Haitian who has attended a CODI program. What are assets? How do you transform your problems into unique opportunities? How do you organize a community to change your reality? Haitians are proud of their past, but how proud are we, are we of our present? Someone told me this week at Cody, the best way to honor your past is to build a successful future. This is a phrase that I will have written on one of the walls of our Haitian Center of Leadership and Excellence, Clay. Four years ago, in Antigonish, a great seed was planted. A partnership was established between Cody and a group of Haitians who created the Haitian Center for Leadership and Excellence. Today, as the co-chair of this center, I am thrilled to share with you some of our progress. More than 900 Haitian leaders were directly trained in our leadership development program and conferences. These programs were focusing on women leaders, grassroots community leaders, local government leaders, business leaders, and youth leaders. Clay, our center, is currently running a series of conference around Haiti called Combit Jeune. And it is important for me to take a minute to explain the word combit. The definition of a combit in Creole is a traditional form of cooperative communal labor gathering people from a community for the accomplishment of a task. During a combit, it is time for solidarity, for cooperation in the face of adversity. Our combit jeune will bring together by February, 1,500 young Haitian leaders, entrepreneurs, social innovators to highlight homegrown best practices, highlight economical and social opportunities, and facilitate commitments to actions. During the first two conferences held in Port-au-Prince and in Limonade, the participants shared with me at the end that they were inspired and encouraged to think bigger for themselves, for their communities, for their country to visualize themselves as not only the leaders of Haiti's future, but as leaders of Haiti's present. Thanks to the partnership with Cody, 19 Haitian leaders have received scholarship to attend 32 Cody certificate courses. And I would like to speak about one of them, not only because he is in the room tonight, but because it is important that his work is known around the world. Robillon Luino was born in a rural Haiti and raised since he was five in Cité Soleil in Port-au-Prince. After the earthquake, Roby decided to become more engaged and began bringing people together in a spirit of combit and completed a master's in community transformation and peace building. Roby's work has made him a nationally known leader working for youth integration and the promotion of peace. He is currently on the board of many community development organizations he holds a staff position with a Haitian NGO called Future Generations Haiti, and Roby is a Cody graduate. <laughs> Working in the most populated part of the capital, this community leader has created a unique movement in Cité Soleil. Cité Soleil is known worldwide in the media to be the poorest of the most and the most dangerous neighborhood in Port-au-Prince. But I would like to share with you how Hobie speaks about Cité Soleil after being in Cody. 
I grew up in Cité Soleil, one of Haiti's most marginalized neighborhood. I lived through the discrimination and stigma that people have against my community. But I also know how many incredible, brave, talented young people there are in Cité Soleil, and how we need to start to value them as members of Haiti society. I decided to take a stand and do what I could to support the incredible young men and women in my community. I launched in Cité Soleil Peace Prize, an annual initiative to honor ordinary people that are doing extraordinary things to make lives better in their neighborhoods in Cité Soleil. I want the world to recognize the potential in our community, and I want young people to recognize the potential into themselves. Thank you, Robbie. Thank you for applying the ABCD approach in our country. Clay, in partnership with Cody, will continue to disseminate the tools necessary for us all Haitians to build the bridge to sustainable development. Hand in hands, Haitian citizens should be building this country from inside out through integration, job creation, social and community development. We need to make sure that the Haitians no longer act as beneficiaries, but engage as engaged responsible citizens. I would like to take the time now and thank on behalf of the Clay Board and team, each one of you. Your presence is a testament of your support to the Cody Institute and indirectly to all the countries in which Cody is work working. We thank you for your continuous support. I would also like to thank the Cody team, the director, Mrs. June Weber, and a special thanks to Mary Coyle for the key role that she has played since the center's leadership beginning. It is now very important that for me to end by congratulating all 39 participants at the diploma program. You made the right decision to come here. You have the right tools. We need you all to be true ambassadors of the ABCD approach, sharing with the world this education for action. It's time to go back to our country, to our communities, and together it is time for us to go change the world. Thank you.